Welcome aboard the research vessel Savannah. Owned and operated by the University of Georgia's Skidaway Institute of Oceanography, the RV Savannah is a state-of-the-art oceanographic research vessel designed for a wide range of scientific missions. Whether conducting biological, chemical, physical, or geological studies, the Savannah is perfectly equipped to support estuarine and oceanographic research. Being a part of the academic research fleet and a member of UNOLS, the RV Savannah is available to be used by federally funded scientists in need of a reliable ship. It can operate anywhere from inshore estuarine waters to beyond the continental slope and Gulf Stream, with a cruising range that spans the waters from New York to the Caribbean and out into the Sargasso Sea. The RV Savannah is approximately 104 feet long, has a 27-foot beam, and a full displacement over 300 tons. Recently repowered with new twin C18 Caterpillar diesel engines, she steadily cruises at 9 to 10 knots. With seven crew members and the capacity to host up to 16 scientists, the vessel is well suited for large-scale scientific missions. The vessel normally conducts round-the-clock operations and can spend up to 25 days at sea before a necessary port call to refuel and provision. Annually, the RV Savannah spends an average 150 days at sea. The Savannah's spacious work decks provide lots of room for overboard handling operations, including large-scale mooring deployments and recoveries, multi-coring, towed instrumentation, and other oceanographic sampling systems. The fantail work area makes up around 850 square feet of space. The bridge is equipped with the most up-to-date and advanced communication and navigation systems. This includes dual 25-kilowatt radars, numerous types of GPS units, chart plotters, an AIS, dual VHF radios, various echo sounders, and a gyro compass. Two satellite communication systems are utilized for reliable and fast internet and voice service. Shipboard data acquisition systems are used to collect and display atmospheric data, water properties, navigational data, and current measurements. The NOAA-developed SCS computer system integrates many of these systems to ensure reliability, safety, and precision while at sea. A key factor that is important in providing the crew and scientists with the energy needed for research cruises is, of course, food. In addition to a fully equipped galley and large mess area, the RV Savannah also has a chef on board to prepare three hot meals per day during all Savannah cruises. With the ability to hold up to 16 scientists for up to several weeks, there are five separate science cabins. There is a double berth on the O1 bridge level for the lead scientists, as well as two triple and four bunk cabins on the lower deck. Each cabin has its own air conditioning, reading lamps, and privacy curtains. The vessel also has five heads, or bathrooms, four of which have showers. The RV Savannah was built new and delivered to Skidaway in 2001. The vessel generates just over a million dollars annually in direct economic benefit to the state of Georgia through sponsored expenses and has provided a safe and effective platform for educational activities in oceanographic research. The Savannah has taken entire class groups out to sea for up to a week and groups even larger than that for day cruises. The dry lab on the port side of the main deck takes up around 309 square feet. It is climate controlled and complete with plenty of lab shelving, benches, 120 volt UPS receptacles, and a freshwater sink. Also located in this lab are the scientific data acquisition systems used to log and display meteorological information, navigation, surface mapping, ADCP data, and CTD cast data. Right next door on the starboard side is the 158 square foot wet lab with shelves, benches, a fridge, a freezer for sample storage, an uncontaminated supply of seawater, a freshwater sink, fume hood, and 120 volt UPS receptacles. There are two frames on the RV Savannah's main deck that provide the means to deploy and recover a variety of oceanographic equipment, the A-frame and the J-frame overboard handling systems. The A-frame is located on the stern and is used for trawls and other towed systems, as well as deploying stationary instruments, moorings, and sediment samplers off the transom. The J-frame overboard handling system is mounted on the starboard side and is primarily used for CTD casts and net tows. 
The CTD, or Conductivity Temperature and Depth Profiler, is used for vertical water column profiles and for collecting discrete water samples at depths up to 1,500 meters. The CTD carousel sensor configuration includes pressure, temperature, conductivity, chlorophyll, color dissolved organic matter, photosynthetic active radiation, turbidity, and dissolved oxygen. A variety of sampling equipment is available to ship users to collect sediment, plankton, and macrovertebrates and invertebrates. This includes sediment sampling equipment from a single spade tube corer to a large USNEL box corer. Nets available include bottom trawls, plankton profiling nets, and a Neuston surface net. All of this shared used equipment is provided to our users at no additional cost. In addition to the A and J frame overboard handling systems, there is also a Palfinger marine crane that is used for loading and unloading the vessel at the dock, staging gear on deck for overboard operations at sea, and launching the rigid hull inflatable work boat. This 13-foot boat serves as a tender for the RV Savannah and is powered by a 4-stroke 30-horsepower outboard engine. It can hold up to six people or 1,200 pounds and is often used during dive operations and other science missions. The Savannah also allows for the deployment and retrieval of meteorological buoys that provide real-time data to scientists, meteorologists, and the general public. The vessel has also deployed buoys in autonomous underwater vehicles or AUVs off the coast of Georgia and Florida to improve hurricane modeling and predictions and to monitor and track endangered northern right whales as they move in and out of their calving grounds. The RV Savannah continues to be an important platform for research, education, and environmental monitoring in the open waters of the southeastern United States and beyond. We are proud to serve as a bridge between science and the sea. We look forward to having you aboard.